Welcome back to Celebrity Corner. I'm Dorothy Cassisari. Spring is finally here, and there is no better way to enjoy this warm weather than to relax outside with a cocktail. Please welcome the VP of Puff Daddy's highly successful Ciroc Vodka, Erica Pittman, here to share some vodka cocktail recipes. Hi. Hi, how Thanks are you? Thanks for being here tonight. Thanks for having me. And who is this cutie pie that you brought along? Well, this cutie pie is just, you know, a military captain, a marine captain, a Chris Minaya, and also our uh, military ambassador for Ciroc Ultra Premium Vodka. Well, welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah, Thank yeah. The audience is clapping, aren't they? <laughs> well, thanks for being here. You have such a fascinating job. I mean, you have been working with Puff Daddy, aka Sean Combs, for how many years? Five. Five, five years. years. Yes. And you don't just work, you know, at his company. I mean, you work directly with him. Right? Absolutely. He's very, very hands-on. You said. Extremely hands-on. I mean, a lot of people don't know this about him, but uh, Sean Combs is intricately involved with every single one of his brands, and um, it's it's one of the most fascinating things I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm truly blessed to be able to to be so close and hands-on. That's how he's so successful because Absolutely. he's on. He's hands-on. Absolutely. He doesn't just just you know from the top down give orders about things. From the start to the finish, he literally has a say and a final approval in every single aspect of our brands. Our current commercial that's on TV, he practically executive produced that that TV and I'm sorry that commercial and just yeah, he's an amazing, amazing businessman and it's not just the celebrity that brings him success, it really is strategy and, and hard thinking. Wow, and, and his team, which you're a part of. And his team. Yes. And Erica and Pittman. Chris, yes. <laughs> Okay, so uh, let's talk a little bit about these cocktails. Um, we have spring-themed cocktails, right? So yes. what are kind of some of your favorites here? So we have we have three cocktails today that we wanted to kind of okay. have you taste and you tell us which one you like oh, the best. Oh, okay. I like all of them. I, you all know, right. I actually, I like <laughs> all, all of my them favorite. as well. They're all fantastic. <laughs> but I happen to like, um, I happen to like the second one, which I think Chris may be making know. first, okay. which is the, um, the Ciroc Red Mango. And this cocktail is a little... A little fancy, if you will. It's um, one and a half ounces of Ciroc Redberry uh, mixed with about a half ounce of mango puree, Ooh. which is always yummy, and an ounce of champagne. Uh, so we have a little bubbly here. Vodka and champagne is a combination I welcome. Yes. <laughs> Responsibly. Res Responsibly. Responsibly. <laughs> yes, yes. But uh, this cocktail is really refreshing for the spring. It has that kind of carbonation from the champagne, so it gives you a very crisp, light, fruity, um, mix. It's really good for maybe a night in with your girls or maybe at the uh, uh, sitting, local hot. Yeah, if like you will. sitting outside sitting brunching, outside brunching in the West Village or yes, something like that. Yes. Well, this one looks really good. I love all the colors and I just feel like spring, I love learning new spring cocktail ideas because it's a time to just kind of, you know, open up the windows, have something new, that absolutely, kind of thing. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, the thing about the Ciroc flavors are, you know, the, these flavors are actually made from natural ingredients. Um, they're gluten-free. Um, so they, they don't need a lot of mix, and the uh, the flavor really opens up, and it creates a really powerful, dynamic cocktail. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, are you our, our, our Marine? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, okay, I'm a little jittery today. Too much coffee, I think. It's totally okay. Um, <laughs> so what you find is with our flavors, you make these really amazing dynamic drinks with very simple and easy to find ingredients. So Ooh, um, this well, is our first cocktail. Well, oh, well, I'll wait for you. I oh, mean, please. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. <laughs> please, don't you worry. <laughs> well, Thank cheers. You. Cheers. Thank you for being here Thank today. Thank you for having this me. This looks fabulous. Tell me what you think. Ooh, that is refreshing. I can picture really myself good. like sitting outside with a cob salad, sunglasses on, <laughs> sun shining down, this kind of thing. That's exactly right. Yeah, exactly okay. Right. All right, I, lo I love that one. And um, what other drinks do we have here? So, um, secondly, we have the uh, Coco Loso. Coco Loso. The Coco Loso. Oh, yes, <laughs> uh, that name is a very unique one. I'll tell you that story offline. But uh, <laughs> it has gone that's viral. A behind, that's a behind the scenes story. That's a story. behind the scenes story, <laughs> yes. But it has gone viral over the last, I'd say, three or four years. And in the summertime, it's our biggest and most successful cocktail, uh, besides the Diddy, which is a Ciroc and lemonade. Um, it's a very simple cocktail. It literally is a um, one and a half ounces of Ciroc based vodka. Okay. And uh, three ounces of pineapple juice. Ooh. I mm. sometimes mix it with a little cup club soda as well to get that refreshing carbonation that we just had with the red mango. I feel like this should, you know, be be uh, in the islands or something. I, this the is pineapple definitely juice. Definitely a Caribbean Cheers. cocktail. Cheers. Oh, that is good. Really so refreshing. So you also have a lot of causes of your own that you support. I, I mean, do. given your role, right? I do. Um, 
T fill us in a little bit on this. Absolutely. You know, I'm about doing well by doing good. Okay. And I, I feel like, you know, the real strategic and smart way to do business is figuring out, figuring out a way that everyone can win. Um, and so for me, um, I'm very passionate about the causes that I represent, um, three of which happen to be uh, NIFTY, which is the National Foundation for Teaching Entrepreneurship. Uh, Mr. Combs is intricately involved with that charity sure. as well, being an entrepreneur himself. Um, and they actually basically teach children 12 to 18 years old about building their own businesses and financial wealth. And so that's very exciting for me from a business side. Of course. But then also... Um, Dress for Dress success, success is one of them, which I yes, love. Yes, which for me, <laughs> I... You know, it's interesting because I, I like fashion. I love fashion. Um, I'm a girl, so, you know, we just all love things pretty and pink and soft. And right. uh, Dress for Success originally was based on um, creating opportunities for professional women. I, I love that you're involved in so much, and I'm so glad you came here with the cocktails. I wish we had more time, oh my gosh, but we, I'm have sorry. To, we have to jump to the next segment. Thank Let's you do so it. much. You're welcome. Up next, viewers ask me lots of questions week in and week out, and tonight I'm digging into our email bag and providing some answers.